Well, 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 YouTube just released their YouTube Live Redirect. Now, it has actually been in beta for some channels, uh, and it seems to have gone completely wide open last night or yesterday afternoon. So today, I want to actually do this live with you. We're going to be testing this feature live. I will show you, well, talk about what it is in the first place. What is a Live Redirect? Uh, we'll talk about how to actually set it up and the pros and cons and what you need to know using it for yourself and to allow others to live redirect to you. But before we get into all of that, I'm going to say hi to everybody joining. It is May the 4th, absolutely. And guess what that means? We are celebrating. <laughs> so we are going to actually i uh, be using May the 4th graphics that you can get right here at livestreamingpros.com slash store today. And hey, these are good for any day of the year, not just May the 4th, because if Star or sci-fi is really your... Um, uh, of interest to you, then you can use this all year round, all year round. All right, so let me talk about what live redirect is, and then I'm gonna come to the comments, and we're going to actually just do this in a, okay. <laughs> put your phone, put your computer on do not disturb, tip number one. Uh, <laughs> today is not a normal stream day, so I didn't set up properly, I guess. All right, so what is live redirect? Well, this is a, a feature that allows you, while you're live, to actually send your viewers to another stream or premiere. Um, it could be on your own channel or it could be on somebody else's channel. So when you're done with your stream, essentially you tell YouTube, we want to send our entire audience over to this other thing that's happening. and. If you're familiar with the Twitch world, you would know this as a raid. Now, raids are super, super fun on Twitch. Um, I streamed on Twitch for, what was it? I don't know, a year or so? And we had a lot of fun with raids. Uh, the concept being over on Twitch, and I am comparing this because it introduces some pros and cons, more cons on the YouTube side, which I'll talk about here shortly. But when it comes to a Twitch raid, what happens is, um, you know, somebody will, a channel, a, usually a bigger channel, will raid a smaller channel. And this is all done in really a lot of fun, community-oriented discovery, right? Help, help smaller channels grow by raiding them and sending your audience to them. And it is a beautiful, beautiful thing that happens and it creates a lot of fun, it creates a lot of engagement, and it creates that sense of discovery and community. Um, now, uh, their YouTube has locked that down because um, to anybody, like you can't raid anybody. This is one of the biggest cons, right? Um, uh, on the YouTube live redirect feature because they say they're trying, there are lots of bad raids out there, right? So like they don't want anybody, um, re sorry, redirected to, I'm just gonna call it a raid because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> but on YouTube, it is a live redirect. Um, and so you do have to actually approve channels to redirect to you. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. Um, and I know, I know, we can't raid Ludwig. <laughs> we can't, uh, you used raid on some uh, some bugs earlier this week, fantastic. <laughs> you know, the, the cool thing about it is that when, and what I'm hoping to create in this environment is um, what happens on Twitch was when you would send your audience over, we would all have custom emotes, right? And we would send people over and then that new, that other channel that we're raiding would flood with comments that said LSP raid, LSP raid, LSP raid or whatever, right? So it, it would be obvious where that new audience is coming from. And we would use those custom emotes and just really flood it. And it would stop the channel's stream essentially because they would be like, what is happening, right? Um, and then that's just, it, it was always fun. It was always 
always just fun um, and really a, a positive thing for community. So um, I, <laughs> you guys are funny. I love Raid. Probably Raid one or <laughs> zero or ten. That's funny. Uh, all right, that was a, that was a geek joke. Um, okay. So we are going to walk through what uh, or how it works. I want to show you how to actually set it up and then um, we'll talk further about those pros and cons and what you need to know. So let me screen share and um, don't forget, I am using May the 4th graphics because it is May the 4th today, a special stream all the way around, right? Excuse me. So let's go into screen share mode and I want to show you how you set this up. So in the back end of your YouTube studio, um, and by the way, I should say this really super quick. I do expect that this is a first go for YouTube. YouTube doesn't tend to release things full featured, right? So they want to test it. They want to see how it goes. They've locked it down in terms of not being able to raid anybody um, and having to approve that. And while it saddens me greatly that they've done that because it does squash, um, while it squashes like the negative raids, which I've never personally experienced, but I know people do, um, it, it also squashes that discovery element, right? So it's, um, it's it saddens me, but my hope is that this first test um, goes well for them and they, uh, they extend that over time, right? So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know what their plans are going forward. So in YouTube studio, you're going to go to the settings button and the bottom left corner way down here you see my mouse moving and then you're gonna click on the community tab here um, and you are going to then scroll down to live redirects in this section now you will notice a couple of things um, allows this so this section is going to allow other creators to send their viewers to any of your live streams or premieres so what we're doing here is actually setting yourself up to be able to be rated oh, i'm sorry redirected to <laughs> you guys are going to have to like fix my language here um and so your content can only be selected for a live redirect if it's upcoming or in progress, right? So this also, I wanna talk about scheduling. So don't let me forget to talk about scheduling um, pros and cons on this as well. So what you're gonna do is you're going to select the channels that you want to be able to redirect to you. Now, what I started doing here before I read the manual, anybody else not read the manual or instructions? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Um, so you can actually add channels. What I was doing was going through my subscriptions and adding all of those channels just in case. And this is a thing that I'm testing, right? Like I. I actually don't need to do all of these because you actually have this box right here, allow live redirects from channels I subscribe to. Now I had to go in and open up my privacy settings for my subscriptions, which was previously locked down in order to allow for that. So truly I don't actually have to have any of these because I subscribed to all of these people, right? Um, hey, there you are, Renee. <laughs> so I actually didn't have to go through and do that because anybody I'm subscribed to can actually see my upcoming scheduled streams or premieres, right? <laughs> yeah, Roger says, don't need no stinking manual. <laughs> so I could, it could look exactly like this and anybody I'm subscribed to will see me now. If they're not subscribed to me, then they won't easily see me right off the bat. That's something I'll show you here in a second. So that if you have, let's say, you know, we want, um, let's say today I'm actually going to be streaming or I've got to set this up. I don't know who I'm redirecting to um, yet. So uh, by the end of this, we will have found somebody to raid <laughs> or to redirect to. Um, and so, uh, yeah. 
let, let Callie know if uh, that's something that you want to go live for. And uh, before you have to be, you have to either have it scheduled or go live before we end this redirect. All right. So um, you, anyway, that's how you set your channel up for allowing others to redirect to you. If I want somebody to redirect to me and I don't subscribe to them, then that would be a pre-planned thing and I would have to add them here to the channel. Now, uh, oops, I don't know why I went there. Okay, so now let's go to actually the other side of this and set up a stream, right? So when we actually go into your to your back end when you're actually um, in studio and you're creating a live stream, you're going to hit schedule stream over here in the top right corner. And uh, then we're going to just create new. I'm just gonna do, I'm, I'm just gonna leave this as is, put your title description, all of that thumbnail, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and go through the options, right? I don't, this isn't actually something that's gonna go live. So then um, if I do private, um, wait, hold on, I missed it, hold on. There it was. Okay, in the customization section, um, you're gonna scroll down past message delay and see redirect right here. This is where you allow, where you set up your stream to then redirect to somebody else's premiere, or live stream that is scheduled or live currently. Now again, it can also be something that you have on your channel as well, which is how this whole thing started. Okay, so see you see this one that's live right now. This is our live stream that we are on right now. So I could redirect my own stream if I wanted to, that wouldn't make any sense. Um, or you can go into the other channels section and you see um, all of the channels that have scheduled live streams or premieres that I subscribe to. And this is kind of eye-opening, okay? Hold on. Excuse me. Um, so this is eye-opening and something I think that needs to be discussed, which is this idea of scheduling. Um, it has been kind of a theory that we've been operating on that you're gonna get the best uh, momentum from scheduling 30 minutes out, right? So you schedule that sh that stream 30 minutes out and then people get that notification and they're more likely to show up versus a week out. Um, and so, you know, that has been working really well for us. And so when I looked at this, I was like, mm, if live redirects become a really popular thing, and people want to use them all the time, then it may actually change the strategy for use for scheduling your streams earlier, because then people will see you here in order to set up to raid you to live redirect um, to an upcoming stream. Now, one of the things that I hate is that you can't actually see when it's upcoming. You don't see the date or the time in this section. So I would literally have to click it and add it before I see the scheduled date and time. So um, hopefully they fix that. Um, now the other thing that you'll notice is this show all channels. So when you click that, you're going to actually see any channels that have, um, that have allowed you, that you don't subscribe to, but they have allowed you to actually redirect to them. Now, this is where, you know, how we were like, I, these are random, these are so random, right? So this is kind of where we were talking about here, right? Where I was like, well, we could just add a whole bunch of people, right? We could just add people here and um, that would be something that we could just allow anybody online to <laughs> anyone with a YouTube channel to allow them to redirect to us. That's what you're going to see here. So that's a little like, that's going to get messy, I think, right? So that's how you schedule it. Then you go ahead and process that video. Then if you are actually 
live and you haven't set it up or you decide you want to redirect to somebody else, that's easy to do. You just come into the back end of your live video and you click the edit button, you go to customization, and then you scroll down and click the redirect and you go through the same exact process. Oh, okay, so it's actually not going, because I'm live um, on that, that stream, you know how it, before it was showing that, but this is the live stream that I'm on, so it will not allow me so, my, myself to redirect to my current video. So that's good. Okay, so that's how all of that works. Um, what say you? What do you think? Are you excited about this? Are you not? Um, yes, May the 4th be with you. Welcome to May 4th. <laughs> you don't forget, you can get your graphics here for all year round, not just May 4th. Um, all right, so uh, I talked to you about scheduling. I talked to you about kind of the pros and cons. Um, what other questions do you have? And while you're asking questions, I actually have to find a channel to set up for this redirect. <laughs> so, um, Callie, do you want to let me know if we've found anyone? <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I'm going to check in with, with her. Um, but before I do, Raid Callie, her fish streams will never be the same. I would totally raid Callie if she was going live. <laughs> <clears throat> there, there wasn't a manual. There was a, yeah. So they have to be live. That's the thing. Um, question, is this for all or only larger YouTube channels, aka lists of subs? Um, it's available for everyone as far as I can tell. Um, so if you don't see it in your back end, then you might not have it yet, but it is rolling out. So what they did before was they actually rolled this out to a lot of people with the option to send people to your own channel stuff. So if I were going to go live and then I could redirect to a premiere of a VOD or something, right? So I could do that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, that, that was like kind of the, the first limited feature. And then now this is opening it up to other channels. That's why I say that I hope that this is kind of, okay, I guess it's step two for, for the phases. Um, and then hopefully in step three, we can actually raid any channel we want because it would be nice to see, um, to be able to raid other like-minded channels that are smaller that really build that sense of community, right? Yeah, YouTube wants to make fun features, but abusers and bad humans ruin it for us all. So, so true. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Thank you for that clarification. You need a thousand subs for redirect. So, um, so not big channels, but bigger, like so you have to have a thousand subscribers. Okay, cool. <clears throat> no, <laughs> definitely only goes to YouTube only to YouTube. <laughs> there, there, there's no way in um, that YouTube would allow redirects to Facebook. <laughs> All right. So let me check in um, with questions. Can you schedule a week out as listed, then make it public 30 minutes before? Would that have the same positive success? Um, I don't believe I could be wrong about this. I don't believe that it would allow um, to see, you wouldn't see the unlisted, right? Because the only way you can see unlisted videos are like through playlists. I don't believe that they would show in that for somebody else to schedule a, a redirect to your channel. All right, so, um, okay. <laughs> All right, so, who wants to go live? <laughs> oh, I, I sent out, we sent out um, a, a few, um, a few messages to people to see who's going to, I'm just checking messages right now to see who would be uh, live at around this time. Um, and nobody seems to be. So that's another thing. Like, okay, this is another reason why we want to be able to <clears throat> rate anyone, to redirect to anyone, because look at this community, right? No one's actually live right now. But when I think about a Twitch raid, there's always somebody live. And in fact, 
there is always somebody live. If you go to the YouTube live page and see who's live in the moment, you will see um, lots of people live. But I can't, I can't send that to them, right? And this is, this is where it gets frustrating is that it needs to be planned. Um, and so we can't just have some really fun, off the cuff um, building of a community from that perspective, right? Um, <laughs> you gonna go live, Debbie? <laughs> um, if you wanna look at my hands typing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, I really do like how we um, build up an audience on a live stream and then send everyone to a premiere right after. I think it will have a huge impact on number of live viewers for a premiere. Yeah, so that's the other thing um, is if you are going to, <clears throat> if you're going to have a premiere, right? Um, let's say a channel that you're friends with, um, can, is going to be doing a premiere or even on your own channel, you want to premiere a VOD, then we could go live, um, get everybody excited, right? Hang out and then send everyone over to the premiere of that VOD. So we'll be trying that. We tried it once and I wasn't super impressed with the results, but I think we tried that once. <clears throat> I know I thought about it. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it would be perfect for a charity streamathon run by multiple channels. That's a great idea right there, Paul. I love that. Um, coming from an IT background, it makes sense to me to have it locked down. Uh, yeah, but, 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 but. <laughs> now don't be talking sense, Victor. All right. <clears throat> so. Uh, Rory, Tech Troublemaker, is a student. Um, so uh, what we're going to do, Rory, okay, hopefully you're still here because you have to approve me to raid you, to live redirect to you. Language. <laughs> you have to approve me first. Um, once you've approved me, then I can set that up. So let me, let me just try, okay? We'll, we'll just try this. All right, I'm going to go in and add him. So we'll, we'll go into screen share mode uh, while we're doing this. Well, that's, okay, hold on, real, real quick. This is an important question. What if you get a bunch of redirects you don't necessarily want? That's what YouTube is trying to squash, right? That's what YouTube is trying to <clears throat> say, you know, no to, um, because uh, you have to approve them, right? So you have to have that approval process on both ends in order for this to work. Um, and you know, if if you if everyone were to act right <laughs> in the world, then you would ideally the situation would be that while I'm live, we would find a channel that is live that is the same audience, right? So like the ideal is that we're not just sending people to a completely random, you know, channel, um, but that we know our audience would like, right? That we know our audience would uh, um, enjoy the content of. Um, sometimes you don't know that, right? Like if I think back to, to Twitch raids, um, it wasn't always obvious, but you could kind of gather based on what they were talking about if that was a similar audience. So based on the, the channel, the title, um, and the description of what they're doing, then, um, okay, let me, then that would be a great thing, right? Okay, so you guys are liking the approval process. Uh, okay, uh, fair enough. I, there you go. If you're liking the approval process, give me a yes. If you don't, give me a no in the comments. What's a big request, Paul? Uh, would this be good for, say, an interactive painting tutorial? Um, well, live streaming is great for interactive painting tutorials. I don't know what, like, so I don't know what you mean by the live redirect, if that would be good for that particular kind of thing. If you're going to be sending to a premiere of a VOD that you have on your channel, um, or to somebody else's channel that is the same type of subject matter, then it would be a really good thing. 
Let's see. I have a question. I'm Rory is alive, so we're going to add him here in just a second. Um, I have a question. I live stream my YouTube videos. Once that has processed, should I leave it as is or trying to repost it as a video? Um, so I don't know what you mean by you live stream your YouTube videos. If you're live streaming a recorded video, I would say stop it <laughs> unless you're actually live. Um, don't do that because it breaks trust. Um, if you're, if you're talking about going live and then you actually want to uh, chop that up. You can do that either in the YouTube editor, you'll lose live re chat replays, or you could chop that up, upload little clips to your channel. Okay. So let's go to the pip and let's get this going. All right. Okay. Um, we're going to say youtube.com slash hold on tech troublemaker. Wait, why am I doing this? This is the wrong way. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, okay. So what I'm what I'm doing right now, which is the wrong thing to do, I don't know where what where my mind was there, um, is allowing him to redirect to me. That's not what we want. What we want is to go into this right now and add um, this other channel. So I'm gonna have to, let's see. So he's not showing up here like I thought because I believe he has approved us. So what we're gonna need to do, this is a total test guys. I just wanna see like, oops. I wanna see what happens and how it, how, what the, um, sorry, I'm t talking and typing at the same time. Uh, I wanna see what happens with this process. I wanna see what it's like on the other side as well. So when we actually, s when I click the button to end this stream, two seconds or so, it's gonna take for it to redirect over to this new channel, right? To this new stream. Um, so as you see, he's live. So I can't believe we're not subscribed to, to Rory already, um, but we are now subscribed. Um, and so let me come out of this and do it again. Let me just go all the way out just to make sure. Customization. And then we're going to add, redirect, other channels. And he's still not showing up. Well, this is a successful test. Has he approved us for, a, for live redirect? So this, is, this shows you, like, if I want to, I can't unless he um, has actually approved me. So uh, we need confirmation on that. Um, let's see. Let's see if I could do this. Oops. Uh. <laughs> Live testing. YouTube.com slash tech troublemaker. Nope. So I cannot search for it because he hasn't approved me. So he's, he's got to approve. Um, all right. <laughs> so while we wait for that, <laughs> then there we go. Um, let's see. No, you don't need, you don't need the actual streaming URL. Absolutely not. It's just that I don't think he's approved. He's set it up for approval because he's live right now. Oh, looking for the option now. So here's where you go again. If those of you who joined late, I walked you through this earlier. Um, in order to actually approve somebody, you're going to go into uh, YouTube Studio. Wait, hold on. Okay, you're going to go into YouTube Studio. You're going to click the settings option at the very bottom of the left hand corner. Then you're going to go into community. You're going to scroll down to live redirects. And if you subscribe to us, then technically it should allow me to redirect to you. Um, but for good measure, you might want to just go ahead and add live streaming pros to be able to live redirect to you. So um, we don't know. We don't know if this is going to work or not. <laughs> we are all doing this live for the first time. This is the fun of live testing. Is it not? Are you guys having fun? Let me know in the comments. Uh, feels a little half baked. Uh, I love the idea, but it seems like as somebody who wants to redirect, I should be able to send a request. Yeah. And that, that might be something that would, that would be a really good feature, right? Is like, okay, like I want to, 
can you allow me to, and just have that sent. Facebook actually does this well-ish with the, okay, he's working on it. So we're, we're working, we're getting there. Um, Facebook actually does this with their cross posting feature where, um, essentially what happens is, uh, you have, it's, it works the same way. So if I want to stream and be seen on somebody else's channel where that's actually the same stream, um, it's not simulcasting through a service like restream. It's just a read. It's just a cross post, um, on the Facebook platform itself. So I can actually go in and each party has to approve the cross posting on each other's channels. Um, and then uh, we do actually get a notification of that, right? So that notification, and we did test this before, we did not find any notifications from YouTube about having added to the channel. Like, so if I'm adding somebody to, uh, approve, to be approved on my channel to be able to raid me, to live redirect to me, then um, they don't seem to get an, any notification on that. So that would be a really nice thing to add for sure. Yes, so um, the bearded IT dad. Yeah, so that's right here. Um, the option to say, allow redirects from channels I subscribe to is the option that you want there. And um, it, Supposedly, right? Like supposedly that would be the thing uh, that that allows this to work um, without you having to manually add a whole bunch of people. All right, all right. Looks like Roy is actually, all right, he's live. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do, you guys, this is, we're gonna, we're gonna train you up on this, okay? Um, wait, hold on, I gotta go into the right thing. Okay. Um, Let's, let's see if it actually does it this time. Let's see, edit, customization, redirect, add, other channels, still not there. No. All right, this, this feature is not seeming to work. <laughs> okay, so I also see that Kathleen is live and I'm not seeing her. So I wonder, hold on, hold on. Let me test a theory right now. Let me test a theory. Okay, we're gonna do one, two things at a time. Not two things at a time. We're gonna do two things to see. Uh, I'm going to go backwards. I'm gonna refresh, but I have, an, I have a theory if this doesn't work of what it is gonna be the issue, what the issue is gonna be. All right, so back to customization. We're gonna go redirect. Other channels, still nothing. So here's my theory. All right. This is my theory that um, the only time I'm gonna see either your tech coach or um, Rory is if I set it up live, if I set up the redirect before. So we're gonna schedule stream. We're gonna create new. This isn't actually gonna go anywhere. So I'm just gonna scroll right through here. Add. So this is a brand new stream, brand new stream that I'm setting up. Let's see, they still don't show. Darn it, darn it. <laughs> okay, well that, both theories, both theories <laughs> are, are squashed. I don't know. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to I don't know how to get you to show because it's just not. It's it's even not on a new stream. Just eCam Live. <laughs> it only wants me to send people to eCam Live. <laughs> oh, oh well, well. <laughs> um, no, I did. I tried to. I can't. I mean, I could log out and log. <laughs> my uh, <laughs> my uh, lightsaber decided to throw a fit. So um, May the Fourth be with you. It is May the Fourth. <laughs> this is why we are our sci-fi um, sci-fi uh, themed today, and you can get your very own right here. All right. Uh, I used to play a very sad trombone. Yeah. 
This is why we test, 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 right? This is this is the fun of it, guys. Seeing when things work or don't work, it's a new feature. You can't really test it without being live. So I thought I'd invite all of you to the party. And um, all right, last theory. I'm gonna log out and then log back in and see if that uh, changes anything. It really shouldn't, if that's the case. Uh, then it would be an issue. Wait, hold on. He's saying, try one more time. Did you do something different? Let's see. Oh, I'm not on. Well, these people are getting lots of promo. I don't know who they are. Don't know who they are. Don't, I don't, uh, I am not, uh, approving them. Um, okay. There has to be. I feel like I'm missing something obvious, but this is what they say to do. YouTube.com slash the only the people. Well, well, well. Okay. This is all right. So what we're going to do, I've, I've refreshed, I've refreshed multiple times. <laughs> all right. I'm going to log out of my entire account, log back in. Hopefully I can make that work. All right, sign in. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have the password. Oh no. No. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um, I don't have a password to my YouTube on that on that uh, computer. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Uh, wait. You said I think somebody else mentioned this, but it is only showing live streams that are scheduled to come, but not actually currently live. It's not what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be upcoming or live. Um, hold on. Just give me one second, guys. <laughs> one second, I gotta find my password. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, and then I gotta get it over. I have like three computers going, guys, right now. So just laugh at me while I do this. That's all you need to do. <laughs> Uh, let me see what I'm, I'm logged into over here. <laughs> His stream had to be scheduled, but it says, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Um, search for another channel. It doesn't specify that in anywhere I'm seeing that it has to be scheduled. So, so Rory, go ahead and schedule a stream for like in five minutes, like construction is saying. Um, let's see if that changes anything. This is part of live, isn't it? All right, let's, all right. I'm just, Sending my password over here. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta take it one step at a time. I actually should get my password manager active on this computer. I was just thinking that this morning and then I was like, nah, I'm fine. Then I go live and need it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're logging back in. Now I am in. We will uh, go back into YouTube Studio. We are going to manage my live. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna see. Um, oops, we're gonna go in. If logging out and logging back in should it have changed anything, I highly highly doubt. Um, I am subscribed to his channel. I am. Uh, if this actually did anything. Whoa! Wait! 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 Is this? Oh, no, really? I had to log out. You guys, I had to log out and log back in in order to, to see it. That's scary. Um, okay, <laughs> I really want this to work. I know I want this to work as well. All right, so now I have added Rory's um, channel 
to this. So this is my live stream. We've added the redirect. So now what's going to happen is I'll answer you. I'll finish answering all your questions. Roy, stay live for me for a few more minutes. I'm going to finish answering questions and then we're going to raid tech troublemaker. And I, I don't think it's a scheduled stream. Let, can we get a clarification on that? It's the same title as what the live stream was before. Can somebody clarify that for me? Was it a scheduled stream or was it the live? Um, so uh, what's gonna happen when I end this stream, uh, it's gonna take like two seconds-ish. So just hang out, don't go anywhere. Um, and then it's going to redirect that page over to Roy's channel and then you'll all be there. Now, what I'm assuming is going to happen and I've got um, mine up to, to see what, what that looks like, um, <laughs> then um, what's gonna happen is we'll all be dumped into his chat room and watching the stream and then what we wanna do. Now, is everybody listening? All right. Is everybody listening? This is what we do with channel redirects, okay? With live redirects. When I send you over to somebody else's stream. Um, okay, uh, hold on. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna tell you what to do. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Callie, uh, yes, that's what I thought. The title of the stream that I found was the live stream. He did not schedule a stream with the same title. Is that correct? Okay, so, oh, <laughs> that's not good. So Kevin is saying that it took about 30 seconds to redirect on his last one that he was a part of. So, all right, what is gonna happen? All right, what's gonna happen? So we're all gonna stay right here on this page when I hit the end stream button. Correct, you did not. Okay, I'm gonna get there. We're gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you exactly what, but real quick clarification. I had to log out and log back in to my YouTube channel in order to see his or his stream available to send people to. So hopefully that gets fixed. That sounds just like a little bug that could be very easily um, done. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna all stay on the channel page that you're watching on, and then we're gonna wait two to 30 seconds who knows how long it's gonna take? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. And then we're all gonna be thrown into Tech Troublemakers live stream. And here's what I want you to do, okay? You wanna say, LS, hashtag LSP raid. Hashtag LSP raid. Hashtag LSP for live streaming pros raid. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna flood Roy's comments um, with LSP, hashtag LSP raid, and just have a bunch of fun. And then Roy, how this usually would happen, is going to welcome the uh, viewers from LSP and um, you know get to know them a little bit and then keep going with his content. Introduce the content. If you are ever rated or live redirected to, reintroduce what you're doing on that stream. Tell all the new viewers what, you're, what to expect, what you've got going on, what they just missed, and where, what they're going to see if they stick around. Because a lot of people will drop off at that point, but the ideal is for you to actually welcome them, get excited, tell them you're you're really excited to see them there, and that you are going to talk be talking about X Y Z. Right? You got it, bearded. L hashtag LSP raid. Is everybody on the same page? All right, suspense. The suspense is here. <laughs> um, and then I don't think. Um, in fact, yeah. So this is the other thing I want from um, from YouTube live uh, uh, redirects is the ability to use our emotes, those of you who are members here, our emotes over on that other channel, which I don't think is a possibility. Exactly, that's what I was just saying, Paul. Yeah, you, got, you beat me to it, but I just saw it, sorry. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do, all right. Everybody ready? I am going to end the stream and then what are you gonna do? Tell me in the comments. You're going to wait 
two to 30 seconds, however long it takes. You're not gonna go anywhere. And then it's gonna redirect over to Tech Troublemaker's live stream. He's a community member and a student. So we're just gonna go support him, hang out in his chat, and listen to whatever he's got going on. And you're gonna use the word, or the hashtag LSP Raid as soon as you get over to his channel. All right, you guys got it. I see the LSP Raid coming in. Yes, yes. No, you're not gonna close YouTube, you got it wrong. <laughs> All right, let's do this. This is super fun, super fun. Okay, ready? I'm gonna lose 110 people. All right, we're gonna send 110 people over to Roy's Tech Troublemaker, and I'm ending the stream now. Thank you all so much for testing this with me, for um, having fun today. I'll see you over there. Bye.